see a lot of people ask me, where do you work? And I say, at the trading post. And they say, well, where is that? And I say, it's the place with the horse outside. And they say, oh, yeah, I know that place. I wanted a fiberglass horse for advertising, really, to show that we have a tax store here. So a friend of mine who had a trucking company and hauled produce brought him from California in a semi-trailer, a refrigerated trailer, uh, with a truckload of cantaloupes. When they got to Victoria and the fellows opened the back door, there he was standing in his crate, just stiff. And that's how Cantaloupe got his name. Cantaloupe has been here for about 30 years, but we didn't start dressing him up and really until probably 15 years ago. I went to a trade show and uh, there was a speaker talking about being an interesting destination for people to come to or an interesting landmark. So I thought, what could I do to be that? And thought, well, Cantaloupe could be the world's best dressed horse. From then on, we started dressing him up and change his outfit usually at least once or twice a month, every month. Some of the costumes are kind of a, a pun or a play on words. It's Harry Trotter! It's whatever is happening in the world or in Nanaimo. For instance, we'll dress him up for bathtub race. We did the royal wedding. Um, we've dressed him as a cow for the BIX. He was a beaver for Canada Day. He really looked like a beaver. They had him dressed and he had the big belly and he had the paddle tail. We made him into a fly one time. We had colanders on his eyes, so he looked, had fly eyes and had wings on him. He had a pride outfit. He had his high-vis uniform on when the highway was being repaved. Some are easy, some are really hard. Some you need two or three hands to do. His next one will be difficult, so Philippa will help me with that. There's a lot of pinning, a lot of hot gluing involved, a lot of tape involved, a lot of fishing line involved to keep everything together. Whoa! This is Gail, and the, oops, sorry, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's Norm. They are Cantaloupe's accomplices. He's definitely a member of the staff. When he's not out there, people come and ask. Just the general public, they pull in and say, where, where is he? Where's the horse? Is he okay? If we have time, we'll run out and take their picture with Cantaloupe, but there's a lot of selfies. Three, two, one, Cantaloupe! Cantaloupe. You're asking if all the attention he's getting is going to his head? No, he's pretty humble. 